I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and people are constantly asking me where are the best places to eat in New York City. There are so many places. People could actually go to a new place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then honestly never repeat another restaurant for 20 years. There's a crazy stat, it is insane, but I am about to share some of my favorite spots, some of the local spots that I keep going to week after week. I'm actually addicted to these places. I wasn't sure if I was gonna share them because they're my local favorites, but you know what? I'm gonna share them if you subscribe. Uh, I guess I can't tell if you subscribe, but please do it. Subscribe, click the like button, comment your favorite spots to go eat, and let's get into it. Let's go to the first place for breakfast. You go for the Instagrammable pancakes, but stay for the other amazing dishes like the breakfast sandwich complete with potato chips and the creative cocktails. After working in restaurants, this experienced trio of Brooklynites would take Sundays for granted, exploring their neighborhood for good drinks and food. They started this neighborhood spot near Domino Park that offers some of the best breakfast, brunch, and dinner in a three-story bright space that is so welcoming in any season. I love to sit outside during warmer months or warm up with a cozy cocktail when it's cooler. One of my favorite cocktails is the sweet and creatively displayed Havana Honey Bear drink. It is served in an adorable bear-shaped honey bottle elegantly chilled on ice. Visitors come for the incredibly fluffy pancakes on white marble tabletops. The pancakes are made with malt powder and buttermilk in small pans with lots of batter that forces it to bake upwards instead of spread across a larger pan. And then there's the syrup. It's a hazelnut maple praline syrup that doesn't immediately soak up into the pancakes but spreads very nicely. <laughs> This is the bagel store in Williamsburg. I live here in Williamsburg. I used to live a block away from this, dangerous. Now, I live a little bit farther in Williamsburg, but it's not a far walk. I am having my normal breakfast snack, which is this amazing rainbow bagel. I love it, I highly recommend it. It's at the bagel store. Come here early because I got here before 10 a.m. I was hungry and I had to wait in line. And I think the secret's out, but it's okay because it's still worth it. It's just this really fun, amazing, rainbow bagel. Mm. One of my favorite places for breakfast is definitely BEC, this amazing ciabatta sandwich. I know, it's not on a bagel, can you believe it? New York, they don't make breakfast sandwiches on not on bagels. But actually, this is a really fun, classy spot. It's a little bit expensive for a breakfast sandwich at about $11 for one of these with some bacon. This is actually a pancetta, egg, fig. I'm obsessed with the fact that this comes with that fig jam and honey and ricotta cheese instead of the other cheeses. I am absolutely obsessed with this sandwich. It is just so good. So let's take a bite. that fig, sweet and salty. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Mmm. The pancetta. Some of the sandwiches have bacon, some have prosciutto, some have pancetta. It's just so good. Mmm. Mmm. The bread is so good and crispy. Wow. <laughs> Joe's Steamed Rice Roll is a popular flushing restaurant that just expanded to its second location in Manhattan's Chinatown. Head to Canal Street Market to try these budget-friendly, gooey Chinese crepes. The most popular menu item is Joe's Signature Roll with pork, beef, shrimp, egg, and lettuce. We are here at Joe's Steamed Rice Rolls in Canal Street Market. I almost didn't want to tell you about this place. It's that good. It is my favorite spot, I have been told that, Jen, you come here too often, you're addicted, and you know what? It's true. I am addicted to these because they're so, so good. Thank you to my friend TJ, Cup of TJ, for telling me about this spot. It is my favorite right now. It has an amazing peanut sauce. It has a sweet sauce, soy sauce, 
sriracha on top. I got the pork and I add an egg for a dollar, worth it. You can get bean sprouts, you can get all sorts of different little vegetables inside. And it's just this amazing thing. Even though it's called rice rolls, there's no real rice. It's actually just this thing that, it's like a big rice noodle that they make right in front of you. They pour it out, it heats up on, on this large area and then they roll it. They sort of scrape it off and then they roll it into these little rolls around the meat that you choose or shrimp or whatever. And it's just so good every time. Oh my gosh, I just, any day that ends at this is a good day. I highly recommend it. Mm. When asked where are the best tacos in New York City, there is only one place that comes to mind. My favorite place for tacos, Los Tacos Numero Uno. There are now two locations, the original in Chelsea Market and the newer outpost in Times Square. Despite their success, this place still feels like a small roadside stand with no seating, only counters to eat your food. My two favorite taco flavors are carne asada, steak taco, and adobada, pork taco with small slices of pineapple on top. There's also the pollo asado, grilled chicken, or for vegetarians, the nopal, grilled cactus. I love the rich flavors of the marinated meats, the fresh corn tortillas that are flattened right in front of you, and of course, the fact that their guacamole sauce comes on every single taco without charging you extra. And these tacos are super affordable for a New York City meal. And there you have it the best tacos in New York City. Bear Burger is one of my favorite local burger joints. I have tasted famous burgers around the world, but this spot is still so unique for how they make their burgers and their huge selection. Bear Burger started in Astoria, Queens, and is now a global chain with awesome service that doesn't feel like a chain. They partner with local sustainable farmers to ensure clean, comfort food to help build a better food system. Their menu is almost half vegetarian, including awesome plant-based burger options like the famous Impossible Burger that I could barely tell apart from a classic meat burger. Meat lovers will also revel at the tasty, all-natural selection of burgers from beef to bison. It is a healthy and environmentally conscious burger chain. Even their furniture is built with reclaimed and recycled materials, making each space unique. With a name like Best Pizza, this place is not afraid to call it as it is. Frank Pinello, inspired by his Bensonhurst Brooklyn roots, Sicilian heritage, and New York City pizza traditions, opened this joint in 2010 in Williamsburg. He learned cooking from his Sicilian grandmother and practiced making pizza at top spots before he opened his own place. In addition to making the best pizza, in my opinion, in Brooklyn and perhaps the entire city, he hosts the pizza show on Vice. My favorite two slices are the grandma, a classic, thick, square Sicilian slice, and the white slice, which is packed with flavor. The white pizza is topped with ricotta and caramelized onions and finished off with a sesame seed crust. I've been to all the best mac and cheese spots in New York City and nothing compares to cafeteria in Chelsea. You must order the truffle oil mac and cheese or sample that and two others in the Mac Attack sampling. The best part is that this simple but classy joint is open 24 hours. It is perfect for brunch or comfort food after a late night when everything else is closed. This is open. This is one of my all time favorite ice cream places in New York City. Did you know it was started in 2008 out of a buttery yellow truck on the streets of New York City? The juxtaposition of the classic American ice cream truck and the traditional fresh ice cream helped Van Leeuwen expand to storefronts and trucks all around New York City and LA. All ice cream is made from scratch in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. You can even find pints in select grocery stores. Their vegan ice creams are delightfully delicious and don't taste vegan at all. They are one of the only ice cream places that offers one of my favorite toppings, the nutritious and crunchy cocoa nibs, which come from raw cocoa beans. 
hallowing in their family's ice cream making traditions, Tipsy Scoop puts a modern, boozy twist on ice cream. This artisanal ice cream company sells 5% ABV concoctions. They infuse ice cream flavors with liquors for fun flavors like tequila, Mexican hot chocolate, cake batter vodka martini, and vanilla bean bourbon. In the summer, I love frosé topped with boozy rose gummies and rose petals. The service here was amazing, and I loved that they have a location in Manhattan and Brooklyn and even Las Vegas. This is frosé all day, and it is so fresh. It tastes just like frosé. Mmm. Wow. It's like the best drink I, I've ever had, but it's not a drink because it's ice cream. This is the best, best thing ever. Chinatown Ice Cream Factory has been family-run since 1978. Visit to enjoy American classics and Asian-inspired flavors like black sesame, lychee, wasabi, and durian. The small shop can form a line, but it's worth the wait. I love the taste of this ice cream, which is so vibrant and flavorful. You have to try it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe and bell button so you don't miss any videos. I have a ton more New York City videos, so just keep watching. For more details, check out the blog post linked down below. As always, say yes to new adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye!